Have you ever been in a place where you felt like giving up? You felt like you're at the edge of a cliff and you're about to jump. How does it feel if there's someone behind you reminding you what poor choices you're making or you feel like that last word of that one person makes you want to jump? I've been there. I've been to a place where I feel like I want to quit. I want to give up. And I can tell you that it took one good voice, one word of truth that pulled me back in. If you have someone in your life that you know is in a crisis, be really careful to be compassionate and not critique the crisis, but ask God for the compassion. Ask God for the words to say that will draw them in off the cliff. One thing I have learned is that when someone is drowning, they're not looking for a swim lesson. They're looking for a life preserver. I know many times we don't mean any harm. We want what's right for someone that's hurting and they're acting out of character and it's so easy to grab the scripture and just throw a word at them. But what if we were to throw our arms around them? What if we were to say to them, it's going to be okay and God is with you and we're going to walk through this and you're just feeling like this right now and this too shall pass and we were to be the comfort instead of the critic. What if we were to be the one that covered them instead of trying to control the situation? You know, every one of us has moments in our life where we feel like we're about to jump. Let's be careful that we don't judge one another, but that we jump in if we have to, in the water if they have jumped and swim them back to shore. We're all on the same team. We're all fighting the same enemy and we all have moments of weakness. I wanna pray for us right now. God, I pray that you would help us be that voice in the wilderness, that you would help us be a gift that you would help us be a blessing, not a burden. That we would be the one that gets people to come back to you, not pushes them away from you. That we would be the one that stops the fall before it happens. Give us a heart of compassion. Give us, in Jesus' name, a heart like your son, Jesus. I pray that for you, for me, and for all of us. Look at what's around you even right now as I'm speaking to you. Say, who is it that I may have pushed off a cliff that I need to go and call or text or visit and bring them back to the only one that can truly save them, Jesus Christ. I will see you next week for some more Bible Life Coaching. Thanks for joining me.